So I have already showed you how to stretch time, make a video longer or a layer longer than it, the running time is. Uh, next we're going to talk a little bit about time remapping. Okay, so in this uh, exercise here, um, it is uh, chapter 28, and if you go to exercise number 5, the first thing that you want to do is you have to select the layer and you go to time, layer, time, and enable time remapping, okay? And when you do that, it's going to show up as the first thing in your layer here, and you'll see that there is a uh, keyframe at the beginning and at the end. A common use for time remapping is to make the clip longer than it originally was. So uh, we're going to use this one right here. So what we're going to do here is uh, the way you can extend this is once you have time remapping turned on, I can just drag this out and notice what happens when it, so it's going along and when it hits that last keyframe it's just frozen here. So if I want it to last longer without a freeze frame, I'll just drag out that last keyframe. And so now this video is that much longer and uh, we have a little bit more video there. And if I want to have the freeze frame be at the beginning of the uh, time of the clip here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the word where it says time remap. And what that does is it selects both keyframes. And so now I'm going to move this, both of them, to the right. And I'll extend this over here. And so now when it starts, it's frozen at the beginning until that first keyframe. And it's important to understand that if you don't select both keyframes, and I'm, let's say I just select one of these, and I move that one, so what you're actually doing here is it's still frozen before it hits there, but now this part where between these two keyframes, this is going to speed up accordingly to how much video is left. So in other words, if I move this all the way to the end here, this is going to be frozen the whole time until it gets here, and then it's going to be super fast. So let's see what it does. And one of the things that we have not really spoken about is this little function here. It's called the graph editor. Okay, so when you click on this, this is available for anything, not also not just for time remap, but it's most helpful for time remap. So, for example, uh, when you have a straight line going from here to there without any kind of fluctuation or any kind of curves, this is, uh, there's no change to the speed. Okay, so. Let's go back without that, and if you recall, if we wanted to create a freeze frame at the beginning, I'm going to select both keyframes. I'll move them in time, and let's go ahead and extend this over here. And so now what you can see from here to there is it's a flat line. When there's a flat line like this, notice it's a freeze frame. And as this person starts going, uh, as it starts going up, it is going from 0 to 100 uh, uh, percent. And what that is telling you is that there is no change. So if I put another keyframe, let's go ahead and show you what happens. So if I create a keyframe and I, and I pull this down, so this is going to be slow up into this point because it's a slow inclination. And then it's going to get very fast. So let's take a look at that. So this graph editor is actually very helpful. But you see, you can, this is real time now because we have our green line. And watch what happens when we get to the next keyframe. So it speeds up over there. Okay, and then on top of it, if you want to, we can uh, work with these things so that we have these kind of curves. So it's going to go up, and then it's going to go backwards. So if it goes up over here and then goes further down, watch what happens at this point here. So the, it's going to all go backwards. All right, so this is a, a kind of a different way of thinking about time in that, um, you know, up, as long as it's progressing upwards, it's going forward. If we have an, a higher point and a lower point, then the video is going to start to go backwards. Furthermore, if you come into the time remap numbering system here, watch what happens when you drag on these numbers here. So as I drag it up, it creates a keyframe. Uh, and you can even go beyond and below so that you can have things go backwards or freeze as well. 
So having made this keyframe here, now let's look at what happens. It goes backwards, forwards, freezes because it's a flat line, and then it goes backwards because it's going down over here. All right, take a look at this little piece here. So there's also another little tool down here. If I click on this, it says Choose Graph Type and Options. Uh, it's going to say Edit, Value Graph, and Show Reference Graph. So now when we look at this, which is what we created, or I created with these dots here, um, you can see this other line here that gives it, it says here when I hover over it, it says 0.5 seconds, which means uh, it's 50% of the running speed. You see how it's going up there? Uh, it, um, and here it's um, going one second. So this is 100% full speed. Here it's going down the other way. So it's going to be again flatlining. It's not moving at all. Um, and again, uh, we can kind of see based on what's going on so that this is going backwards. It's a negative number because it's going down. So by looking at the way this is running and the, these other tools available to you, you can kind of watch what's going on, freezing, slow-mo, backwards. Okay, so now we're going to look at this video here. And uh, you can also use this timer map to repair something. So let's say that little portion right here where it goes past these middle parts is a little bit too quick. If you want to slow down a portion or maybe you have a bad camera move that goes too fast, you can possibly use this tool to fix that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the layer, go to Layer, Time, Enable, Time Remapping to get our thing here. And let's go ahead and go to about three seconds and I'm going to create a keyframe in the time remap at 3 with a value of 3. And now let's go over to, let's say, 6 seconds and create another keyframe. And so nothing has changed right now. I'm holding the time uh, from uh, the way it is. So in other words, let's go look at the map. So you can see nothing has changed other than I created um, a couple of keyframes. So I want these things to remain the same. Uh, so let's go back here now, and I'm going to select these guys. Uh, let's move the, let's make it to like eight seconds, okay? So you can see it freezes at this point because the video runs out. And I'm going to make it around eight seconds. I'm going to select both of these keyframes, and I'm going to move this to this position here. And so now what's going to happen is between this keyframe and this keyframe, it's going to slow down. All right, so let's go ahead and look at that. So it slows down over there, and that looks pretty good. Now what we can do is let's go ahead and look at this map, this graph here. And you can, we're also going to show the edit value graph and show reference so I can see what's going on here. So this is remaining the same. When it gets to this point, it's 0.6 seconds of an actual running time. So it slows down just a little bit at this point. And then we're going to uh, uh, go here and then we freeze frame at the end. So you'll see when we get to this portion here, it gets kind of jerky. And so we're going to add a little bit of frame blending here. So let's turn on frame blending. Turn it on there as well. And so now let's take a look how it's going. So now it's a lot smoother. It's not quite so jerky.